Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, B.K.A. The People's Champ, coming to you live with another commentary, man. You already know who I'm playing with this morning. I'm playing with my man, Juice Man, Gucci Man, make the trap, Hey, Quarter break, half a break, oh, break, Hey, Anyway, man, <clears throat> so check it out. This is again. This is the next game that we had played that day against those uh, two dudes. Where I don't, I don't even know what it was. Where the dude was one dude was stabbing, the other dudes was tubing, and I ain't died by no damn bullets. The whole fucking guy. I don't even get it, man. Sometimes it happens. Look at this shit. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk about quick scoping because I got. Some, I might have some fans that quick scope, and if I talk about how quick scoping is the biggest, biggest bunch of bullshit on the fucking planet. You know, I might lose some fans or something like that. So I ain't even gonna say, how the hell did he already get a I mean, I didn't get a buzz kill already. He wasn't even on no streak. I got two kills. I'm on a strike. I can't go shoot down the Harrier. I'm on, I got one kill. I've almost got my UAV. I'm on a strike. That's how them cats be sometimes. Now, watch this dumb shit right here. I don't know what this cat here thinking. I thought that was him with the tactical insertion. Oh. Uh, but that wasn't him right there. I don't. I guess I don't know who it was. But I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna wait over here because he'll die." The average life in the Call of Duty game is about 45 seconds, and I've been up here for about 20. So I'm like, "This bitch, see, see, there you go." And then the Randy McCarrens told you that dude was gonna die. Average life in Call of Duty is like 45, 15 to 45 seconds. So you see a tactical insertion. If you watch that bitch for long enough, they will. They coming right back. So you ain't even gotta worry about that. This game is one of those games where I actually was being outrushed. Well, look at that shit, man. I just got killed by fucking C4 and I saw that shit on the floor. But I thought I could run all the way past it and then, or, or I could flash and stun it. Sometimes I stun that C4 and it doesn't do shit to it. But uh, I figured that I was like, I was getting outrushed because I wanted to go the way that I wanted to go. Jay Z face back. All right. No good. I wanted to go the way that I wanted to go, but they kept rushing to the point of attack. So I think I ended up having to go and, um, and say, okay, well, I'm going to try to switch it up some right here. Like right here, I, I figured, okay, these dudes in here, I know one of the dudes is up in the little corner or whatever. But then that motherfucking bitch is behind the door. What? I don't get it. Who are you going to shoot from right there? I can see if he was up top and he was picking people off across the map or whatever. But the only thing, Jay Easy fades back again. All right. Yes. And it counts. The only thing you're going to do right there is just get hit, you know, get destroyed by me. Uh, if you, like I said, the only thing you can count on with a camper is a camper is going to be in the same spot every time, no matter what. Look at that two-piece. Uh, well, I guess it really ain't a two-piece, but you know. Anyway, right down to the one that fucking gunfight, man. But I already know, like, like I said, every time you kill these dudes, they was rushing right back to the point of attack. And they didn't even have on pussy pills, so I can't even get real mad at that. At least they were moving around, but you know, when you get when people are playing you like you like to play people, and they get you out of your comfort zone a little bit, you just have to change the way that you play. But uh, that don't happen to me too often. How the hell did he even spawn right behind me? That dude, like he spawned, either he spawned behind the door, or he was waiting behind the door like a little bitch. And this dude, like I said, every time I get two of them, then it, it just comes right back. And I start noticing one or two things. One, somebody on that team was getting too many damn kills. Number two, well, I was dying too much, but that ain't, that ain't the point because I die every day. I die every match. But uh, the number two was, you know, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna have to do something. Look at this shit. Look at this mother. Oh my god, this dude is stabbing me. Have I died by a bullet yet? I don't think I. Had, well, yes, I did. I died by a bullet one time. Oh, it don't even matter though. But anyway, got all my stuff fixed, man. And uh, I was starting putting up some random clips and kind of just random. I'm sorry, man. I'm just tired because, I, like I said, I didn't get much sleep the other day. But I'm going to start putting up some random clips and calling them random babblets. And I got the first one coming at Two-Face. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying, man. They just kept coming back. Every time you kill them, they come right on back. I see why some people camp now. Why camping is effective for some people when you play against cats like these. Because when you play against cats like this. Oh, here we go. Enemy Harry is in coming. Or is it Chopper? I don't know what it is. I think he got an E-drop or something. How the fuck did I lose that fucking gunfight, man? I don't even know. And my voice is going... And I'm a little horse, and I got this little weak ass cold. So I don't know what I got, man. What I thought of, I, I, I really don't know what I got, man. And then the Harrier don't shoot anybody but me, and nobody on my team shoots the fucking Harrier down. So right here, you already can tell, like, right after this, you can tell I kind of got pissed off, and I just said, fuck it. I'm going to damn destroy these dudes. Oh, we're going to win this game. I'm going to put us in the lead if it's the last thing I do. And it might be just because of the way that I'm playing this shit. I really was thinking we gonna. it ain't no way we're going to pull it out because nobody on our team was getting any real kills or whatever. And I'm like, they might be at camp spot number one. I call them camp spot number one. This is camp spot number one because this is normally where they spawn when we play the game. And then camp spot number two is on the other side of the map where the snipers like to be. So that's what I call them. I don't know. We, we you know, we got MLG called ML. I, what what, what y'all call it? What the fuck are you doing laying in the fucking bushes just waiting on something? Come on, man. Like, 
like Juice was like, yo, all, I said, that's what I, that's what I was saying right now. I was like, everybody on, I was like, this dude is laying in the bushes. Juice was like, all of them laying in the bushes. I was like, okay, well, check this out then. I got some for that ass. I'm just going to try to pick them off and just try to get us uh get us back. Because I know we're not going to win at this point if, if we keep playing the same way we're playing. So me and Juice start, uh, start actually playing, quote, unquote, carefully and tactically. Look at Juice as he moves along the corner and tries to kill somebody. Look at me save Juice's ass as he almost gets shot by the dude that he did not see. They got a flyover coming in, but I'm like, man, fuck this flyover. Because, you know, I don't care what. Why did that look like it was that close? Get dropped, bitch. Rest, chip, 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 and Dale. Rescue rain. Now, look, they back over there to camp spot number one. So I figured, okay, this is the thing. I remember the other day I got killed right here on this corner. So I was like, okay, what do I do? Do I wait? Do I stay or do I go now? Do I stay or do I go? And there we go. I go I go around. Juice run around the corner and blow the spot. I'm like, Juice, why did you blow the damn spot up? You're going to get us killed over here. Our whole team starts spawning over here. So now I don't get no kill. And this motherfucking bitch. That's what I'm saying. I hate when people do that shit. Because I'm trying to damn sit back and get my last, my fifth kill. Everybody rest up in there. Now they killed all of them. I can't get mad at that shit. But I wanted my fifth kill. And I didn't want it. This is left side. Strong side. Left side. Strong side. Get your bitch ass out the window like the damn old lady trying to call the police. Damn it. And I will use that analogy every single time. And y'all like, bitch, long range. But I, I hate when people do that shit. I was trying to just go up in there. And they just like, fuck it. We going up in this bitch. And we're blowing up the spot. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Yeah, I dropped that bitch from long range also. But you know, I'm thinking about playing some Halo Reach this evening when I get off. Maybe I'll stream that or whatever. And look at what, that's a three-piece from long range. I figured, like I said, I know they're just going to rush back to the point of attack. So all I have to do is just keep picking them off or whatever. And uh, Jay Easy fades back for her! Yes! And it counts. So uh, once I got that done, I got the Predator. Predator missile incoming. And uh, I dropped this joint. I say uh, one motherfucking, two motherfucking hit marker? What the fuck? But anyway, man, you know, so we we end up pulling it back out. And uh, somehow we, 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 I mean, we, I get fucking tube. That's what happened. What the hell did he shoot me with? I just got, but this dude can, can come taco and get dropped, bitch. Get dropped, bitch. Get dropped, bitch. But you know, man, like I said, I just I just wanted to fight it out and keep it going and do what I do. And uh, sometimes when people rushing like that and that's all they're doing, you just got to counter what they're doing. If you can't rush as hard as they can, well, I could have if I had a slighter hand on, maybe, but I just couldn't make it work. But anyway, man, I'm out of here. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, B.K.A. the People's Champ, with the boringest commentary ever. I'll make it up to y'all later on today. Holla!